So here's the ACS712 current sensor module and uh, I've hooked it up to a Leonardo Arduino and it's just sitting there with nothing connected to the high current side so it's measuring zero amps so I'm expecting the data coming out of this thing to be zero. Let's have a look. Now the first number there is amps and it's just measuring uh, 0 0.03, 0 0.05 and occasionally some other numbers. The second number there is noise. Um, so what I've done is I've uh, got it to measure the lowest number it's ever seen and the highest number it's ever seen and calculate the difference and at the moment that's showing 130 milliamps. So the code is here I've added a few statements. The first line there, amps equals 516 minus analog read. 27.03 amps is the full scale deflection on the uh, current sensor, and 1023 is the uh, number of uh, analog to digital steps. But the new lines I've added are max amps is using the max function, the maximum of max amps and current amps. Min amps is the minimum of min amps and current amps, and noise is one minus the other. So we're getting 130 milliamps of noise and that's a problem because it's causing uh, havoc with my uh, current measurements for the MPPT charge controller. So I was wondering whether I could get that noise figure down. Now I did think of using um, an averaging technique which is simply to take uh, the current amps value and average it with the previous uh, amps value. But what I wanted to do was look at the data sheet and see whether there's anything on there that would uh, help with the noise figure. So on the data sheet there's this graph and it plots the noise figure in amps or milliamps um, up the left hand side against the capacitor filter. And the capacitor filter is a little capacitor that's attached to pin 6 of the chip. Now if you look at the module um, it's one of those two capacitors. One is just a decoupling capacitor on VCC. The other one is the filter capacitor. I think it's the one on the right in this image. And on this module it happens to be a 10 nanofarad. But on other modules I've got... Um, there's a different one. There's a, a 1 nanofarad. So let's look at what the noise figure should be for those capacitors. So looking along the bottom um, well, let's look at first with no capacitor, or that 0.01 nanofarads, which is what, um, 10 picofarads, is it? Yeah, 10 picofarads. Uh, if you count up from the 100 milliamps on the left side there, 200, 304, so it's about 500 milliamps of noise. With a 1 nanofarad, it's about 400 milliamps of noise. With a 10 nanofarad, that's about 200 milliamps of noise. Now, if you go up, the 100 nanofarad has about what's that? 100 milliamps of noise and they also show these last two are 220 nanofarads and 470 nanofarads and if you go for the top of the shop value it looks like you can get the noise down to about 75 milliamps. So here's another ACS712 module that I've got. This one just happens to have a very bright red LED on it but you can see that I've soldered the 470 nanofarad, uh, 474 it's marked, directly across the existing filter capacitor. So I've now got the maximum uh, filter capacitor on there that the data sheet recommends. And if we look at the output coming from the module now, things are a lot more stable. Um, the only two numbers I can see in terms of amps, the first figure is 0.03 and 0.05. And the second figure, which is noise, is now down to 30 milliamps. So that's actually a lot better than the data sheet was predicting. It said 75 milliamps, and I've got 30 milliamps. So that seems to be a, a result. Now, of course, you don't get something for nothing. There is a trade-off. And if you look at this table down here, you'll see that by raising the filter capacitor value, it affects the rise time. So with a 1 nanofarad, the rise time is 5.8 microseconds. With the big 470 nanofarad capacitor, 
the rise time is 1120 microseconds, so that's 1.1 milliseconds. But that means that you'd be limited to taking current measurements uh, less than a thousand times a second. But that's still pretty fast. 500, 250 times a second, for example, you'd be able to get away with. And I'm only reading uh, current here about 10 times a second. So um, for my application, 470 nanofarad capacitor is perfectly fine. Now, as I say, I was wondering whether I could get that number even lower by doing a bit of digital filtering. And if you look at um, the second and third lines in the loop function there, amps equals amps plus last amps divided by two, last amps equals amps. And that's just a simple averaging. You're taking the current amps value, uh, adding it to the previous amps value, dividing by two, just averaging the two values. And if we look at the um, numbers coming out, we've still got 30 milliamps of noise, but I've just put in a reset facility. So that's reset it now. And for a while, it sits there on 20 milliamps of noise. We're getting three numbers coming out. That's flipped up to 30 milliamps now. So it has a small beneficial effect. Ultimately, it doesn't... Um, reduce the noise further, but it it probably smooths it, and that might help for um, uh, my application where I'm measuring watts, multiplying amps by volts. So a small extra benefit can be gained by doing a little bit of digital filtering, but averaging is a very crude technique, so you're not going to get a huge amount of benefit. But I'm quite happy with that. I'm now down at 30 milliamps of noise, whereas previously I was at um, 130.